Okay, let's see this question. We want to solve for x. Um, so x raised by 9, x raised by 3. The power is very high. So what do we do? Let's do substitution. So maybe we use a variable k. We let k equals to x cubed. Then we can rewrite this equation as x raised by so k, no, not, not x, and k, when we write it in terms of k. So there's k raised by 3, because x raised by 9 can be written as x raised by 3, again, raised by 3. Then x raised by 3, we call it k, so we have k raised by 3. The minus 2k equals to radical 3. Now we have to manufacture this, right? So first let's move radical three to the other side. So we subtract radical three on both sides. Then our goal is to make this in a factored form. Then we can apply zero property to solve for k. So what do we do? We see k cube, k cube, maybe, Think about the negative radical three, because here we see we have two also. Maybe we want to write as a negative three radical three plus two radical three, right? Because like radicals, negative three plus two, that's negative one. Because this is by default, that's one here. Now, now, this one is negative radical 3 cube, right? 3 cube is a cube we can write inside or we can write outside, right? Because 3, if we push in inside the square root, is a 3 squared inside. So 3 is the square root of 3 squared. 3 squared times 3, right, is 3 cube. Okay, so we have formed a cube, so radical three cube. Then we can apply difference of two cubes formula. Then this two radical three with negative two k, we can factor out the negative two. Then we have a k because this is a plus, right? Plus now becomes a minus, minus radical three. So in this case, Difference of two cubes can be factored as k minus radical three times k squared plus radical three k plus radical three squared, which is just three. Then this one minus two k minus radical three. Okay, great. We have constructed a common factor which is k minus radical 3. Then we have this term, k squared plus radical 3k plus 3, then minus these two. Well, 3 minus 2 is just 1. Mm -hmm. Plus k squared. So we have this factor, and then we have the factor k minus radical 3. Uh, from this first factor, it can be zero. Then we get a k equals to radical three. And the second factor in, cannot be factored, and it doesn't have a solution of k in real number system. Because radical, radical three squared is a three, then minus four times one, so three minus four, square root of negative one, which is an i. So in complex, so in real number system, this it doesn't have, we cannot solve for k, so we just get one solution for k in real number system. So k equals to radical 3. Well, what is k? k is x cubed. So that means x cubed equals to radical 3. Now, maybe we cube the root both sides. Okay. Then we get cube x cubed, cube root, we get an x, x equals to Cubic root, square root, multiply those two index. Two, three times two is six. So the index becomes six. So six root of 
three. So that's the solution.